Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. This week we saw the announcement of the 2019 Nobel Physics Prize. They went to Jim Peebles, Michelle Mayer and Didier Kilaz. In this week's video I'm going to be explaining exactly what they did. But firstly, let's talk about the Nobel Physics Prize. The Nobel Prize was founded by Alfred Nobel, who was a Swedish businessman who was known for inventing dynamite. He made a fortune off selling weapons, but when he died, he decided to leave all of his fortune to be distributed as prizes in physics, chemistry, literature, peace, and physiology or medicine. The Nobel Prize is the most prestigious prize in physics that you can get. Not only because it comes with a huge sum of money, 9 million Swedish krona, which is about a million dollars. The 2019 prize was awarded for contributions to our understanding of the evolution of the universe and Earth's place within the cosmos. One half of it went to Jim Peebles for theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology, and the other half jointly went to Michel Mayer and Didier Kilaz for the discovery of an exoplanet orbiting a solar-type star. James Peebles, or Jim, was born in 1935 in Canada, but now he's the Professor Emeritus at Princeton University in the United States. Throughout his career, he's made significant contributions to the field of cosmology, and his book, Principles of Cosmology, is a classic even today. In particular, he made big contributions to the Big Bang model, which describes the universe in its very first moments, about 14 billion years ago, when the universe was still very hot and very dense. Since then, the universe has been expanding larger and larger, and it's been coming colder and colder. About 400,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe all of a sudden became transparent and it allowed light rays to pass and travel through space. And this ancient radiation is even observed in our skies today. It's all around us and it's known as the cosmic microwave background. Through theoretical calculations, Jim came up with what is known as the Lambda CDM model. This is a parameterization, a theory of the Big Bang model that predicts the geometry of the universe to be flat and also the contents of it. His models said that just 5% of the universe is made up of ordinary matter that make up things like the stars and you and me, and that the remaining 95% is cold dark matter, abbreviated to CDM, and the dark energy, the lambda, which is still very much a big mystery to us today. This model is often called the standard model because it's the most simple model that can also account for the cosmic microwave background radiation, the large scale structure that we see in the universe, the observed expansion of the universe, and many, many, many other things. Essentially, what he won it for though was the cold dark matter. Both Michel Mayer and Didier Kalaz are Swiss astrophysicists. The former is a professor emeritus at the University of Geneva in Switzerland, and the latter is a professor at the Cavendish Laboratory at the University of Cambridge. Back in 1995, Didier was a PhD student of Michel, and together they discovered the first ever exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star outside of our solar system. Other planets had been observed before, but orbiting around pulsars, and this was the first ever detection of a planet orbiting a main sequence star, and also it was employing a brand new method known as the radial velocity method. So the idea is that a star with an orbiting planet will be tugged on by the planet's gravity, causing it to wobble. 
by taking spectra of the star, the spectral lines will move towards the red end of the spectrum as the star moves away from us and into the blue end of the spectrum as the star moves towards us. Using a brand new fiber fed spectrograph, they were able to make these measurements. And what they found was the first ever planet outside of our solar system orbiting a star, 51 Pegasi b, orbiting rapidly around its host star, 51 Pegasi. It took just four days to complete an orbit. The planet is nicknamed Didium, which means half in Latin, because they found that the planet is at least half the mass of Jupiter. But it's orbiting incredibly close to the host star, about 5% of Earth's orbit around the Sun. Since then though, thousands more of new exoplanets have been discovered. That's all the time I've got for today. Let me know in the comment section below who you think still needs to win a Nobel Prize. I'll put some extra reading material about this year's winners in the description box below as well. And as usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe.